Hi, Rob Shreve, Coastal Shores Landscaping. Thank you for viewing our December 2016 newsletter. Uh, last month was our fourth year of our food drive, and uh, we collected this year 1,600 items. Uh, you, our customers, donated uh, 800 items. Uh, Coastal Shores donated an additional 800 items. Our total donation to Bluffton Self-Help this year was uh, 1,600 items. Uh, that brings our four-year total to um, right around 6,000 total items. So thank you. We couldn't do it without you. Bluffton Self-Help is uh, uh, very much uh, thankful for our donations through the years, uh, even more so this year just because of the hurricane. Their shelves were low. We were able to, uh, to help replenish those shelves with your help, so thank you for that. Um, last month, our weather was very warm and very dry. Uh, we have not had, with the exception of last night, uh, today's is December 1st, so last night we actually got a little bit of rain, but uh, before that we really hadn't had hardly any rain uh, since the storm. So uh, we're very warm, very dry, continue to run your irrigation. Um, we're seeing a lot of dry lawns, dry landscapes. Um, even though it has cooled off some, it's still warm enough that uh, plant material and lawns are going to need some water. Um, even once we do finally cool off, which we will finally eventually cool off, uh, continue to water your landscape uh, once every seven to ten days, even through dormancy. Um, our soils never get cold enough to where the plants aren't actively seeking water. So even when it's you know completely brown, the grass is completely brown, um, it's cool outside, the soil is still warm enough that those roots need a little bit of water. Um, and if you keep them hydrated through the winter months, come springtime, you're gonna, everything's going to come out of dormancy a little bit better. Uh, so it's important to keep your landscape hydrated throughout the winter months. Um, this time of year is a good time to do soil test. Doing a soil test now is going to tell us what type of amendments, whether it's potassium, sulfur, lime, magnesium, whatever it might be, now's the time to put those down because typically a soil amendment takes three to four months to really take. So if you start doing the math, that puts us right into springtime. So when we do that springtime fertilization, you're going to have a lot better results um, based on a soil test now, a soil amendment first of the year, and then you fertilize come springtime. Um, the grasses are, are going dormant. To say they're 100% dormant, probably not. Obviously they're not growing hardly at all, but many lawns haven't turned completely brown yet. Um, they will. We'll soon get some really cold nights. The grasses will turn brown. Um, I don't really like brown grass as much as anybody else, but it is just part of our landscape in this area. Um, you know, there are several things you can do to beautify your landscape, even though the grass is brown. You know, fresh mulch or pine straw uh, really makes the property look a lot better, but also fresh mulch and fresh pine straw insulate your plants through the winter months. So you kind of get a beautifying and a protect, protective layer uh, in one shot there. Uh, cool season flowers. There's, there's a handful of cool season flowers, whether it's you know pansies, um, cabbages, kales, different uh, snapdragons. Um, they'll make your property look a little bit better. Unfortunately, many of those are not deer tolerant. So we suggest using those maybe in pots on patios, screen in porches, things like that, just to kind of make your property overall look better. Um, another thing, uh, good time of year to plant trees and shrubs. Uh, get them established now before, before springtime. Uh, one of our favorites is the camellia. A lot of camellias are already blooming, and depending on the species, they'll bloom throughout the winter months, um, and they stay green year-round with a winter flower. So they're, they're one of our favorites. Um, Christmas tree delivery. We've been busy delivering a lot of Christmas trees to a lot of different customers. We're still doing that in this, these upcoming weeks. Uh, give us a call if we can help with help deliver your Christmas tree. We'll pick it up from the nursery, deliver it to your house, put it in your stand, set it up, and then we'll come back and pick it up after the holidays and make sure it gets recycled. 
Um, if there's anything else we can do to, uh, to help you in your landscape or in your uh, Christmas preparations, please give us a call. And uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and uh, thank you for viewing our newsletter.